is the iPhone 7. But you know what? My iPhone 6 from two years ago is still plugging along pretty good. My only complaint is that the battery life is horrible now. I can barely make it through the day. So I'm going to show you how you can crack open into your iPhone and replace your own battery. I'm Jeremy, and this is Gadgets and Grain. Now to do this, we're going to need the help from iFixit. Now these guys are the experts in cracking into iDevices, and most importantly, helping you change your battery. They give you all the tools you need and a little vote of confidence. You got this. And uh, the nice thing is it's all organized nice and neatly here for you. So here's just an idea of what's inside the kit. Uh, but most importantly, it comes with the replacement battery. There it is. Another thing you're going to want is the printed instructions from iFixit. Um, they include step-by-step -step photos and all the details of, of how you're going to do this battery replacement. So have that handy. So now we're ready to begin. You're going to want to turn off your iPhone. Completely just shut it right off. Next, use the hex screwdriver to pop open these little bottom screws there. Now these screws are really tiny. You might want a set of tweezers to just grab them and, and handle them along the way and a small little magnetic parts tray to store them. That'll come in handy. Next you'll use the included suction cup to pull off the screen from the iPhone chassis. Just apply a little bit of pressure and it'll pop right off. Now the phone screen will still be connected to the iPhone chassis through a few cables so you'll want to lean it up against something like uh, well the iPhone box here. That'll help you work on the project. Next you'll include the other screwdriver, the little Phillips head screwdriver to remove this battery connector cover um, with a couple screws there. And using the small pry tool, it'll just pop the battery connector right off. And that's what connects the battery to the phone and thus powering it. There's another plate you're going to want to remove here. The one, two, three, four, five screws that attach it. Keep track of those and remove the plate. All right. Now there's a set of connectors here. There's actually four of them that you'll remove one by one with the pry tool. Once all of those are disconnected from um, the iPhone there, the screen will be pretty much free to go and you can set that aside. We'll connect that later. Next, you're going to want to remove the adhesive strips that keep the iPhone battery stuck to the iPhone chassis. Now you're going to start doing that by kind of peeling away the bottom of the strips here so you can pull it away with your hands. So I'm using the pry tool there. I'm going to flip the phone around and then start to gradually pull those strips away. Now if you've ever used a command strip from 3M to like put a picture frame up on the wall, it's the same principle here. Removing this is just a matter of pulling them along the, um, the surface here, you know, almost parallel to the iPhone, and eventually the strip will pop right off. You don't want to pull this battery right out. You're going to probably do some damage and end up in trouble. So it's like just pulling a piece of gum stuck on the bottom of your shoe. Just pull, 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 and eventually it goes. Now the second strip here gave me a little bit of trouble. It broke a couple times, but eventually, um, if you just kind of keep at it, you can pull it right out. And as you see there, the adhesive strip kind of went to the side. Now once both of those strips are gone, the battery is liberated. So go ahead and set that aside and recycle it properly. Now let's add the new adhesive strips to the new battery. Now iFixit makes it super easy for you to just kind of peel away the proper parts stick it to the bottom of the iPhone battery and flip it around to the back of the battery to just place them like so. Now gently, carefully, and you only get one shot at this, place the new battery into the iPhone and it'll stick right there to the chassis. Put the display back on, stand it up, and reconnect the display connectors um, to the board here. There's all four of them. Now follow iFixit's instructions very carefully on how to gently reconnect these. Um, some of these you want to do from the center, some of these you want to do from the side. Just right. be really careful there. So once that's reconnected, 
you're going to want to replace the uh, cover right there with the little screws and replace the battery cover since the battery is not connected to the iPhone. Now before I totally finish it up I'm going to turn it on to see if it works and well that's a good sign I'm seeing the Apple logo and my phone will fully power up. So we're good to go there I'm going to go ahead and pop the screen back onto the chassis You'll hear it snap and you know we're connected. And then of course place the bottom screws there to secure it in place. Now to properly calibrate your battery, you're gonna to wanna to drain it below 10% before charging it all the way back up to 100. To see how my phone's doing today and more details on how I did this, 